MARI 2.6 includes a number of features related to physically based rendering. This is a lighting and shading technique for simulating real world materials which react more naturally under different lighting conditions. Therefore, the textures painted for the model do not need to be modified for different lighting conditions. Originally, this technique was used in feature films, but it is now commonly seen in popular video games these days. Most artists work with textures which are in the sRGB color space, which were either photographed themselves or ones they have downloaded off the internet. To properly work in physically based rendering, your textures need to be in linear light space. Inside MARI, this is very easy to set up by changing the input color space of the canvas to the linear and adding an sRGB to linear adjustment layer to the diffuse channel. This allows artists to paint as they always have but the shading and lighting is all calculated in scene linear, simulating the physically based rendering workflow of most real-time and software rendering engines. With each version of MARI, we continue to improve the shading available for artists to more accurately represent how their textures are going to look on their finished model. Previously, we included Beckman and Cook Torrance shading models New in MARI 2.6 is the physically correct BRDF shader, which supports proper energy conservation. Also new is the ability to invert both glossiness and bump inputs. The new layered shader in MARI 2.6 allows you to quickly visualize the combination of multiple shaders by either painting masks or generating them procedurally. This is very similar to painting masks inside Amari's normal layered painting interface. The newest video game engines all use this approach to shading, which makes Mari a perfect fit into any real-time simulation or video game workflow.